and the UAE have begun the second edition of Exercise Desert Cyclone 2 in Abu Dhabi, strengthening their growing military partnership. A 45-member Indian Army contingent and an equally strong UAE mechanized unit will train in urban combat, heliborne missions and counter-terror operations under a UN mandate. The drill also integrates UAS and counter-UAS tactics, enhancing interoperability and joint readiness, while reaffirming both nations' shared commitment to regional security and stability. The India-Maldives Joint Military Exercise Acuvarin has concluded with a successful validation phase in Tiruvananthapuram. Over two weeks, troops from the Indian Army and Maldives National Defense Forces trained in counterinsurgency, counterterrorism, amphibious operations, and intelligence-led missions. High-intensity drills enhance speed, precision, and joint decision-making. The exercise reaffirmed strong defense ties and underscored both nations' shared commitment to regional security and stability in the Indian Ocean region. In a landmark logistics achievement, the Indian Army has successfully inducted tanks and artillery guns into the Kashmir Valley using a special military train. Conducted on December 16, 2025, the movement from Jammu to Anantnag validates rapid heavy equipment deployment. Enabled by the Uthmupper Srinagar Baramulla Rail Link and coordinated with Indian Railways, the milestone sharply boosts operational readiness and showcases India's growing capability to sustain forces along its northern borders. The Indian Army has showcased the indigenous Vajraka all-terrain vehicle during Vijay Diwa celebrations in New Delhi. Powered by a 1,000cc engine with automatic 4x4 drive Vajraka can scale 40-degree slopes and operate in harsh terrains. Designed to carry four soldiers, it aims to replace animal transport in remote areas. Built by the 510 Army Base Workshop, Vajraka strengthens mobility, logistics, and Atmanurbar defense capabilities. Hyderabad-based Raghu Vamsi Aerospace has introduced the RV Luxia, a fully indigenous jet-powered target drone for advanced weapons testing. Powered by the Indra RV-19 microturbojet, the drone reaches speeds of up to 500 km per hour, simulating realistic aerial threats. Featuring autonomous day and night missions, catapult launch and parachute recovery, RV Luxia will enhance air defense trials while reducing India's dependence on imported target drones. India's private defense sector gets a boost as Bengaluru-based Prime Toolings unveils an indigenous infrared seeker-equipped Fire and Forget micro-missile. Designed in-house, the compact weapon offers a 2 to 4 kilometer range and reaches targets in just seconds using high-thrust propulsion. Built with lightweight carbon fiber composites, the missile enhances agility and survivability, highlighting Prime Toolings' growing capability in complete missile system integration. The Indian Army is preparing long-range trials of the 120km Panaka Mk-3 rocket system with a pre-production variant already developed. Drawing on combat-proven guided Panaka technology, the upcoming trials, expected in early 2026, aim to validate extended range performance. Upon success, the Army plans fast-track procurement worth nearly Rs 2,500 crore. Crucially, the Mk-3 is compatible with existing Panaka launchers, enabling rapid and cost-effective induction. DRDO has invited Indian Industries to absorb transfer of technology for advanced high-explosive warhead systems used in missiles and bombs. Developed by HEMRL, these mature technologies include fragmentation, penetration cum blast, and blast warheads using high-velocity detonation explosives. Proven through rigorous trials and built with indigenous materials, the move aims to enable bulk domestic production. This initiative strengthens Atmanurbar Bharat, reduces import dependence, and enhances India's strategic munitions capability. DRDO has floated a tender for an advanced test rig 
To validate airborne AESA radar systems in a fully simulated fighter aircraft environment, the standalone platform will replicate avionics interfaces, enabling exhaustive software certification and functional testing before flight integration, featuring portable smart racks, radar level simulations, and immersive visualization tools. The system allows both lab and field testing. The initiative will speed development cycles and strengthen India's self-reliance in next-generation radar technologies. DRDO's Star Supersonic Ramjet missile has entered Phase 3 development, marking a key step toward full integration and high-end trials. Built to simulate realistic supersonic threats for Indian Navy and Air Force training, Star uses an air-breathing liquid fuel ramjet to sustain Mach 1.8 to 2.5 speeds with extended range. Beyond training, its propulsion architecture is being examined for a future anti-AWACS missile, potentially strengthening India's long-range air dominance alongside upcoming Astra variants. India's Project 18 Next Generation Destroyer marks a major leap in naval power. Displacing around 11,000 tons, it will be the largest and most advanced warship ever built in India. Designed for stealth, network-centric warfare and blue water dominance, the destroyer will feature electric propulsion, AI-driven battle management, advanced AESA sensors, hypersonic-capable weapons and directed energy systems, positioning the Indian Navy among the world's top maritime powers. India's quest for an indigenous high-performance fighter engine has crossed a crucial milestone as Safran and GTRE conclude talks on a clean sheet power plant for AMSA MK2. Designed within GF414 dimensions, the engine blends 5th and 6th generation technologies, ensuring easy integration. Drawing from Rafaeli's M88 T-Rex and Europe's FCAS programs, it targets 120 kN thrust in Indian conditions, scalable beyond 140 kN. With advanced materials, modular cores, and future growth potential, the engine promises supercruise capability, lower signatures, and long-term strategic superiority. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.